most business owners are dissatisfied with what they've created. And then there are some that build massive big businesses. And right now, I've got 17 different companies all doing different things. I've got over a thousand staff and I'm bringing in millions of revenue each and every single year. On top of that, they're in multiple locations and sectors. I've really picked up some things along the way that allow you to spin multiple plates and wear many hats to build some growth, profitability and scale in your business. Because the aim is to build a commercially profitable enterprise. Most people don't do that. So how can you do that? Well, that's what we're going to find out in this video. Most people complicate business and they spend their time in the wrong areas. And that's the first thing that we need to get over. Don't complicate it. Keep it simple, stupid, and use your time very effectively. And there's really three ways that you can use your time. You can waste your time, you can spend your time, or you can invest your time. And that's what really good entrepreneurs and business owners do. They think of their time as an investment. They're working on stuff that's very important and not urgent. And they buy in other people's time to scale the business up. And once you understand that, you can really start moving some mountains. What I've described there is really behavior. See, we build up habits and behavior, and the more that you do of good, positive stuff, the more you carry on being more effective. And to be an effective entrepreneur really makes the business blossom. And I use this little formula, it's called E plus M equals S. That's entrepreneurship plus management equals success. I suppose I was gifted the luxury of being able to read a book when I was 16. It was actually by Richard Branson. I realized that Richard was dyslexic and he just employed his weaknesses. And he really gave me the permission to employ people from a very young age. And that really set my foundation of thinking. Because I think we're brought up with this notion that if you can't do something, you just need to practice and practice and practice until you're really good. Well, that takes a long time. What I do is buy in my weaknesses and make sure that I'm doing effective stuff, very important non-urgent tasks. So what is the stuff that we should be doing? You know, funny thing is, 35% of self-made millionaires in this country are dyslexic. And I think that's because they are told from a very young age, well, if you can't do something well, buy in some help. But you see, lots of business owners are doing really low value tasks. They're doing stuff that's really tough, um, that takes lots of time, the time vampire tasks. So they'll be doing all the ordering, the VAT returns, the payroll, all the stuff that you can just get other people to do so that you could focus on income generating tasks. And I think lots of business owners complicate process. When you look at dyslexic entrepreneurs, well, if it's complicated, you get someone else to do it. it, means they can focus on the stuff that they're really good at, which actually makes business more fun and enjoyable. Poor thinking leads to poor results. So we've got to upgrade our thinking to get upgraded results. So let's get back to this better thinking. How can we upgrade it? What would be the type of things that I'd be doing in my day-to-day -day habits? So I'm thinking of income generating tasks. I'm thinking of leverage work. This is much better results. What's leverage work? So me writing a book, I do the work once. It's a lot of work and it continues to work for me. It continues to sell. Me making YouTube videos that build my connections, me making my podcast that allow for thousands of people listening to me coach business owners. These are the things that I think are really, really important. So I'm doing leveraged, high value stuff. Leveraged work is what highly effective people should be doing to get the most effective results. Let's dive in further into a little bit of the mindset of millionaires or the mindset of the super successful. The sacrifice for a short period of time that successful people are prepared to do are just what most people People won't do. Let me give you an example. I'm prepared to pay myself last. I'm prepared to live a few years like most people can't even contemplate to live the rest of my life like most people could only dream. Most people want to receive before giving. Well, this is the thing that I've discovered in life. It's like a, a real little secret. If you give first, you then receive much bigger. You know, those employees that turn up early, that are doing more than they should be doing, are the ones that always get promoted and then end up owning the bleeding company. Whereas most people are thinking, well, I'm not giving until I start receiving more, more, more. They're always the people that hit a glass ceiling. The person that's prepared to do 10% more all the time always gets 100% more at the end. You know, When entrepreneurs and business owners are paying themselves £10,000 a year and all their employees are earning more, 
before, when that business builds to the next level and that entrepreneur or business owner gets that liquidity day, they go for it and they, they eat big at the end. And that's that reverse engineering, the reward um, is really what successful people do. So if you can think like that, you'll be able to catapult success. I just want to say a big thank you to American Express for sponsoring this video. Why? Well, I've teamed up with Amex to make great new content to help entrepreneurs and business owners grow their business. And I've put all this new content over on the American Express UK YouTube channel. Now, have you ever wondered why some businesses don't grow and others are doing really well? Well, I've made a video specifically around that over on their YouTube channel, the five reasons most businesses don't grow. I've broken it down in masterclass style video, go and check it out. There's a link in the video description, also a link above my head. It goes one step further than that because Amex have created the Business Trends and Insights Hub. It's a resource center full of articles and information that you can swipe and deploy to grow your business. I'll help you out by putting a link in the video description for that too. Right, let's get back to the video. So we understand delayed gratification is what super successful people do. They're prepared to wait to receive. So now we need to work out how to build a super successful team to help us scale a business up or how we run multiple businesses, how we can spin many plates. Well, you need to delegate. You need to build a system of left tenants to run all your different businesses, pretty much like a venture capitalist or an investor will think. They're buying into the management team more than they are to the business because it's the management team that makes the money happen. They're the money makers. When you do that, you need to be happy that you're delegating but to a position you don't delegate, so you abdicate. You are still the king of the business. And how do you become an effective king? Well, if you're not measuring what's happening, you can't manage the business. So great business owners measure their business so they can manage their business better. And this is why I always talk about producing brilliant management accounts, because those management accounts for each one of my business sectors give me the tools to manage my left tenants better. So you don't wanna be a superhero of your business, diving in and managing everything. You want to put your own mini superhero lieutenants in place so that you can keep an eye on them by measuring their results and then you measure their results to manage them better. So you clicked on this video to find out how I run all these different businesses. I've got zoos, farm parks, visitor attractions, day nurseries, hotel that I'm sitting in right now. We manufacture products. We make teddy bears, children's arts and crafts. We've even got ice cream parlors. We've got a business seminar training business. Businesses in completely different sectors. Now, how do I do that? Well, the better question is not how, but who. Who, not how, is exactly how you run multiple businesses. So if you look at venture capitalists and private equity businesses, they're looking to put their cash into management teams to run the businesses rather than the business run their investments. It's the quality of the management. But then if you're running a hotel, which I only bought a year and a half ago, never really had any hotel experience, I'm thinking, well, who can I get to run that business? Who's got the 10,000 hours of marketing? experience. So I've done multiple things. Look, I, you know, this YouTube channel has been a process of putting in the hours and learning the skill. And there's two of us. There's Chuds who makes my videos. He's got 10,000 hours of practice. And now I have got 10,000 hours of practice in making content. That has made me quite skillful at doing this well. But I've only got so many 10,000 hours. So I've got to find other people's management of mastery that I can bring into my business. Let me give you an example. About 15 years ago, I decided I want to open some day nurseries. I had all these visitor attractions. And I like creating multiple revenue streams and sweating the asset out of an existing building. So I looked at one of my play centers and I thought, well, if I put a day nursery in there, things would go like gangbusters. The problem was I had two choices. I could set up the day nursery and fumble my way around, working out all the systems and processes of running a day nursery, working out how to work with the government watchdog, or, I could just employ a manager that's got 10,000 hours of mastery experience to run that business for me. And that's what I did. I paid them six months before I started trading to teach us as a business how we should run day nurseries, to set it all up, work with the government watchdog. Now, fast forward 15 years, that's now a six, seven million pound business employing 350 people in the childcare sector. It's a great business. It worked because I was prepared to buy someone else's 
10,000 hours to catapult the success of my business. So if we really summarize how I do all this, I create effective measurement to understand what's going on in my business. So if you don't measure, you don't know what to manage in your business. If you're not buying in other people's quality mindset and business mastery of that 10,000 hours into your business, you've got to do it all yourself. And so you won't be able to really scale the business. And don't forget, you need to invest in people before you pay yourself. And remember that delayed gratification point. If you do all those things together, you'll be able to really scale the business up and spin multiple plates. If you've loved this video, make sure you like and subscribe. It helps more than you know. And if you think I've missed anything out, hit it in the comments below. And if you want to come and see me live, come to one of my seminars. You can buy your tickets at jamesinclair.net or there's a link in the video description. See you in the next one.